Yo, what up guys, it's the Dawn PC, but you're back with another video, and today we'll be doing a gameplay and review on the new team of the season. So far, Vesca. Damn, this man looks sick. So without further ado, let's get to the gameplay. It's gameplay time! Okay, here we go with the game, and this guy has positioned himself pretty well right here. He's positioned himself in a strike position, got inside, take a shot, but... The long shots on this man ain't good, his finishing is good, and he has 4 star weak foot, so I mean he's pretty decent, but the finishing is sometimes a bit iffy. Okay guys, I have changed my formation from a 4-3-3 to a 4-3-2-1, because I want Vizca more close, I want him to get inside the box and that, because his thing on the wings is annoying me. We finally get forward Vizca again, and we score a, a really nice goal, the dribbling is really good, and balance is really good. This guy feels actually amazing. He actually feels really good with 99 balance. It's actually pretty sick. Yeah, we scored another goal pretty quickly here because this guy made a terrible mistake by passing it to this guy. Now look at the speed. Look at the speed. Look at that speed. And you're the freaking shot. Boom. Honestly. Honestly, this guy's gonna be everyone's super sub after this freaking week's foot champs. Everyone's just gonna get him red. Oh my god. He feels like he's like Ryan Kent almost, and this guy has 91 finishing on him as well. Okay, this next goal that I scored is pretty dirty. I shouldn't have done it, but the dribbling to this goal with Vizca was amazing. Look at this guy just cutting past everyone, and I tramped it. I am so sorry, but I was completing a challenge. I was completing a challenge. I am so sorry that I tramped it, but I was completing a challenge. I was completing the freaking goal something weekly objective thingy. Sorry, mate. I am so sorry. Okay, so I could have ended off on the last game, but we're not gonna end it there. We need more gameplay with this guy, and there we go. Give it down to the man. He's running down the wing. Does freaking left back and catch me. It's Robertson. Give a beautiful cross in, and Lucas Paqueta puts it away. Okay, it's been a while since our last goal. This guy made it extremely difficult for me. He made his formation as narrow as possible to stop me from getting past, and with a 4 3 2 1, it's impossible to get through when a person is on narrow. And we finally made it through with Vasca, and we scored. And his Davison San Sanchez was the most annoying player ever, and Vasca was just getting pushed off, and the ball was tearing, taken off him. And it was only Davison Sanchez, the other guys didn't stand a chance, obviously. But Davison Sanchez was so annoying, even though he's freaking tackling me after I scored. The prick. Okay, at this point, I may have to take back some of the stuff I said about Vizca's finishing because he actually done pretty well at this point here. So you obviously know I scored a goal at this point because I just said it. Dribbling was amazing. Getting past everyone is so easy with 99 balance. Cut inside, threw it on all the chop and... I mean, the, that goal was amazing. And that's still a Stegen goal. That's, that's, that's a pretty good goal, I, I think, obviously. Oh no, it's not the Stegen. The other did he have goal? I forgot. Well then, we are leading. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the game. Now it's time to get to the pros and cons and the final summary on Vizca. And damn, is this guy amazing. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final summary on Vizca. Now, this man is pretty amazing. He's got a lot of pros. A lot. Pace is amazing. Finishing 91. Well, if he, that's why I have a sniper there, you should probably put it on him. Like, you have a better chance of actually finishing it than, you know, just... Hitting it straight at the goalkeeper or just missing straight out. 4 star, 4 star is amazing. Balance is 99. Troubling is really good. Passing good. Stamina is 99, so you don't even have to take him off. Even if you if freaking if you bring him on as a super sub. Jesus Christ. Links is a little iffy because Turkish League and Bosnian, but you can link him to Pjanic. You can link him to freaking Jacko and have a freaking amazing front uh, uh, front two. I don't know where else we'll go with that. You could put Justin Clivert. So I've given him a 9 out of 10. He's actually a pretty sick card for 100k, not that bad. I mean, he's not like, you know, Ken's quality. I mean, Ken was like 20k to do. This man's 100k, but he is worth 100k. You have to say that. He is worth it. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Oh, yeah, you want to see the theme of the season. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, let's roll the clip. There you go. Yeah, I can't complain about that. It was a crappy team of the season card, but it's my first card that I packed, so I'll take it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do everything else, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.